people on the block like NBA. He was very creative. He would bop out at random times with the NBA Young Swag. He created that. Soon as he started the NBA Young Boy, then his team started the NBA. If you don't remember the Young Boy, here it is. You bitches don't want war with us. Yeah. You niggas don't want war with us. Not only did he create the NBA Young brand there in Louisiana, but his camp was also ganging on MDMA, which is a street name for a powerful psychoactive drug, ecstasy pills, also known as Sweet Molly. Sweet Molly e-pills are also referred to in the streets as a love drug with dancing shoes, scuba snacks, double drop flip flops, cutty buddy, e-putty, sweethearts xed out, skittles, fizzing, and fizzles. NBA Youngboy stands for Never Broke Again. He later changed it to Youngboy Never Broke Again. He was born Cottrell Gordon in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. With the absentee of his father, Youngboy was raised by his grandmother in the midst of becoming a young savage. With his sudden success of signing his first deal as a major rap artist, he signed on the dotted line. So here we stand. I call it the devil's offer. He had 10 children, of whom started out as rap fans, and now they are in tune as his baby mamas. After having his first five kids, he turned and had another, which left six. Then he left Jania Bania and slid down with Young Lyric, then Ayana, and now they are inspecting their first child. That makes seven. He is very young. He is in his early 20s with seven children. His child support must be stupid crazy. As NBA and Ayana are inspecting their first child, she had clout before she got with NBA young boy. But NBA young boy didn't always have the fame life that he raps about. He used to be a King Savage in the heart of the O. That's Louisiana Parish. Before his fame, he was arrested for out-of-state warrant on two counts of attempted second-degree murder at the young age of 17, plus two gun charges. He was a real-life savage and expressed that at the age of 16 on his YouTube channel, David G. NBA Youngboy, Cottrell Gordon, used to wrestle as a shorty, as we all did. During a wrestling match, he was slammed on his head, which broke his neck and linked his spine, so it rushed him into immediate surgery to stop further damage to his spinal cord. After the procedure, he had to wear a surgical neck brace which screwed into his body, resting on his forehead. Spinal damage can cause paralysis, and doctors wasn't having it. They made a decision to risk life or a permanent dent on his skull, acting as support which used the strength of his face to hold the brace up. Golden was raised mainly by his grandmother due to his father being sentenced to 55 years in prison. He dropped out of the ninth grade and made the decision to become a rapper. This led to him hanging with gang members, which led to his arrest for robbery and was sentenced to serve his time at a detention center in Tallulah, Louisiana. There is where he began writing all his future projects. Then when he was released, he turned his lyrics into a musical story. Then came NBA Youngboy. After his release, Gordon's grandmother died of heart failure, which turned him from a musical genius to a musical savage. He became homeless after his grandmother passed away. The realness of the effect kicked in, so he moved in with his friend and fellow Bat Rouge rapper, NBA 33, also known as OG 33. While together, NBA Youngboy and OG3 started robbing dealers to pay for studio time with high hopes and high dreams of the American fame. He bought his first microphone from Walmart, then dropped his first mixtape, Life Before the Fame, then Mind of a Menace. After he dropped those mixtapes, he received mad love from the streets that he was really up there with the best and he was just starting and would be on top soon. This blew his head up and he stated he would slide on anyone. All he had to do was point him out and poof, be gone. 
NBA young boy is now starting to NBA up and get on his savagery. In November of 2016, NBA young boy and NBA self pay slid down on the ops on 20th and South Kentucky about them killing young boy's cousin, Keandre Ricks, four hours prior. Phonum got on that, so young boy and self pay up heat off the window and got to blicking and shot shorty them in the chest and sped off. Phonum barely survived. Self pay and young boy told the driver to slow down or you gonna get us knocked. They drove to link up with DeAndre Fields after telling him to slid down on young boy's cousin's killer. I know he did, let's get back for my cousin. But to his surprise, they survived and snitched him out to 12. The nurse of these clowns to snitch shorty out to the cops. And shy rat, they would've just got back. Just cause you got a tail, don't make you a rat. Slow it down. Just cause you a rat, don't mean you got a tail. 5 was looking for NBA. NBA cell pay and NBA young boy laid low, but young boy got knocked for the shooting. He was booked on two counts for attempted first degree murder, pled down to aggravated assault, and received the 10 year suspended sentence and was back on the block. Cell pay was still wanted. Soon after, NBA young boy got to beefing with G Money about an interview that G Money did on Say Cheese where he dissed Cottrell's sister. This fueled the war with NBA and TBG wanted get back for NBA dissing G Money. The getaway driver in the 2016 shooting was brothers with DeAndre Fields. Months later, DeAndre Fields told Young Boy, I'm your muscle boy. No more goofy clowns watching your back. This circle closed. I do this for you. I'm really with this. G Money started going back and forth with Young Boy, so DeAndre pulled up and shot G Money in his studio parking lot and got ghosts and gave the murder weapon away for free on Jefferson Avenue to wash his hands of the evidence. RIP G Money. Months later, the get back for G Money was pouring in. On February of 2018, on Mother's Day in Miami, Young Boy's vehicle was shot up with his mother and girlfriend inside, but all 17 bullets missed the rapper and bounced off the windshield and flew through a window and struck a bystander in the head. He died instantly. They also shot his girlfriend in the shoulder in the incident, but she fully recovered. They tried to get back for G Money, but they missed. We gon' slot every day for G Money. Ain't no stop it till we get back. Hashtag on for life. Since this is what you want, TBG slid again on 10 NBA members and called Desmond Harnett, aka Dunk, and shot him and sped off and left him by himself. Rest in peace, Dunk. NBA took it and ran with it and suited up for war. They rounded up the members and slid down on Boulevard Quick. That's get back. Rest in peace, Quick. Soon after Quick passed away, NBA self pay was caught snoozing by 12 and was booked on the 2016 shooting on two counts of attempted murder. So was DeAndre's brother. He was the driver. They booked him too. NBA young boy and his NBA team are straight up hitters They go against the strongest of competition and trust me you're not competition before you suit up to go against the NBA brand second check your feelings these boys black shit be sure this is what you want these boys get down on phone now I fact checked his street status it's been verified I signed a blue check next to his name these boys get down no pun intended facts Chicago to the ATL, up to Louisiana. How could you compare these dudes? They rock with the illest of killers. Ain't no flaw in this rap sheet. If it is, it's been erased. I could crown these dudes. Never stitched on anyone, just a real live dude. Shout out to your boy, we gon' rock with you, gang. He got real live hitters that's gon' get up with these clowns. On gang, real live street dude, NBA. Who want me dead? That's cute. Okay, then move something. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to stay, like a bleach standing your teeth. I got real members that rock with me, dude. Bloody dudes, I got plenty bodies. Caught another case, ain't nobody safe at all. I might just pop out. 
I wanna know though, is who gonna die today? Laughing out loud, they say y'all shot duck, we on y'all heels boy, fat. Y'all don't want war with us, four choppers in the car, I keep a gun when I be riding. A dude killed my partner, he was ordinary, he didn't bother nobody, since you put a bullet in him, somebody gon' get at you, we be out here. Catch them lacking, I can pop them. I care less about where they hide at. G Money got it the worst. TVG be running when they see us, cause they know they do this shit for the net. We really be bodies. Mind your business, don't make me help you. Mind your business. Never let your loyalty make a fool of you. You gotta watch who you hang with, especially if they cool with everybody. If it go down, you gon' have my back. Watch these dudes, I swear for God. Watch these dudes. You threw dirt on my name and flowers grew. Laughing my ass off, I would be mad too. 100, I could feel it slipping. I'm slowly going back to a dark place. I fought so hard to get out of. Facts. Damn, they say old block about to get back for Vaughn. Stay in the house. You better be scared of the stretch gang. They on your heels, boy. Watch out for Muop. He pop out alleys. Duke pull up to restaurants and DQ. He jump off cars and put it up in your face, boy. Yeah, up in your face, up in your face. Laughing my ass off. I know you ain't paid to have Vaughn killed, but if you did, move out of the country, cause they gon' catch something. I heard Duke get out soon. He gon' pull up to your shows and one, two, three, get up and bang. Vaughn was too love for Old Block to let that go. Keep your pipe close to you. Get back, gang. Don't be scared of them. Keep your hand on your gun, and you should be straight. Them old block dudes are super savage, but so is NBA. And you stay in a dark place. Well, that's cool, but if Stretch Gang catch you, they gonna turn your lights on. So make sure your back door shut down.